Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, this is Carl from LunchboxSessions.com. Today's video examines the function of hydraulic steering. If you've heard about the orbit roll valve or the HMU stands for hand metering unit, this video covers that topic. And this is a symbol that has a number of interesting elements and sometimes a little confusing for the new schematic reader or a technician in training. And then as an add-on, there's also a block of valves shown above the orbit roll symbol. And those two components, those two chunks of components are bolted together as one assembly. The steering system on this particular front end loader is being fed from one variable displacement pump and that is completely dedicated to the steering with the exception of the fact that that same pump also provides some pilot pressure for the movement of the valve spools in the implement section of the loader. So let's just get that steering wheel rolling and just do some observations and notice that as one cylinder extends, the other retracts. That's thanks to the clever crossover porting that you see here where lines leave the orbit roll valve and connect to the cylinder. On a front end loader, as you probably already know, those two cylinders are often referred to as the articulation cylinders. Why? Because they're here on either side of the primary articulation joint. That's their true location. But in the cab, it's a steering wheel, and the steering wheel turns a shaft which is hooked up to that valve that you may have seen. And what we notice is that there's a lot of action here on our live schematic symbol and you want to interpret what is really taking place or how do you read the symbols and understand them. So first of all this particular unit is using a closed center orbit roll meaning that the P port, the supply port that is connected to our variable displacement pump, that's stubbed off and is not open until the steering wheel moves and there's a call for the steering cylinders to, to, to change their position. As soon as the steering wheel moves, if the operator moves the steering wheel just a little bit, if that was to open a standard proportional valve and leave the valve open, then our cylinders would basically move to the end of stroke. The only question would be how fast. Well, that's not really how we want steering to work. Steering is handled as a servo function. And a basic servo mechanism says, hey, I'll take into account operator error, which is a difference between what the operator wants and what the system is providing, and close the gap on that error. And when we're done, the system will stop responding. So what I mean by that is if I move the steering wheel just a little bit to the right, I don't want my steering cylinders to go hard over for right hand steering. I just want a slight articulation of the loader for a slight curve. On the other hand, if I want to continue to turn tighter to the right, then continuing to move that steering wheel to the right should give me a much tighter articulation on my loader and allow me to steer hard right. Moving my cylinder back to center should straighten the unit out. So what is that symbol really telling us? Well, first of all, keep in mind that with any valve where you see the proportional bars above and below the main valve spool, the sleeve symbols, if you will, basically that lets us know that this valve has a metering capability to it. It doesn't have to be hard to either extend or retract positions. So whenever I move the steering wheel, whenever I am moving the steering wheel, you have to be able to take into account that the valve has moved to one or the other of those extreme porting positions for the movement of the cylinders, either extend or retract. But of course, what you're noticing is the valve doesn't stay open very long. In fact, I have to move the valve quite radically for you to see the, the ports on the sleeve catching up with the movement of the spool. So let's not get 
too concerned with those particular symbols. Suffice it to say that one side of the spool symbol is to extend the cylinder for, for right hand steering and the other side is to extend a cylinder for left hand steering. And of course, in this case, as one cylinder is extending, the other is retracting. What's happening with this funny round symbol up here? Well, that's built into the same valve. As soon as the valve spool opens, it sends flow into a gyrotor assembly, which has the symbol for both a motor and a pump because it acts a little bit like both depending on what steering situation the loader is in. So if we send flow into that motor, then it displaces that same flow out the other side, which is directed into our cylinders to change their position. But now, what do we make of these dual parallel lines with the funny circles? Well, anytime you see that dual parallel line symbol in hydraulics, that typically means a mechanical connection, and the little round circles basically mean a pivot point. Now that doesn't mean that when you take an orbit roll apart that you're going to find all kinds of Swiss watch linkage arms with little pivots. No, in this case it's just letting us know that as the gyrotor unit turns, which is what determines how much fluid is ultimately being sent to your articulation cylinders for this one shot steering event, that as that's happening, and as the gyrotor element is turning, it is also causing the spool to catch up once again with the porting sleeves and cancel the flow command so that we only get a little shot of fluid to change the position of the steering cylinders. I've been calling them the articulation cylinders as well because this is an articulating loader. It just changes the positions of those cylinders just slightly. So that's how you read that symbol and hope that's enough to get you started with your understanding of hydraulic steering. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.